Well, yeah, it turns out the clones aren't too stable, Brian. I've been having some trouble with mine, too. Hey, Stewie, everything sounds like rushing water, and I can't stand up so very good. Yeah, I figure they've got less than a minute before they dissolve completely. Hey, Brian, knock, knock. This'll be great, Quagmire. A nudie bar is the perfect way to celebrate your first night without a baby. Yeah, Peter, this is great. I feel like myself again. I'll tell you, my life was so dominated by that baby. I'm glad she's gone. <laughs> that stripper has a rash on her ass, just like Anna Lee used to get. All right, yeah. And that other stripper's sitting on that guy's lap, just like Anna Lee used to do. I guess. And that stripper only has one tooth, just like Anna Lee. I guess. I just hate the way that one gets so into her work. You boys have been very naughty. I'm gonna have to assign you extra homework. Darn it, fractions are so hard. What'd you get for number four? She said don't share answers! I hate this block. <gasps> there she is. There's Anna Lee. Hang on, Anna Lee, I'm coming. <clears throat> it's them. What's happening? He's not gonna go through with it. It's a nice family and the kid will be better off here. Oh, that's sweet. What's the inside of the house look like? Colonial. Furniture's pretty good. Possibly imported area rug. Oh, that's nice. A bit pricey, but for the money you're spending, you know, it's not a bad way to go. This family is what's best for Anna Lee. This is her home now. I gotta let her go. I'm proud of you, Quagmire. Thanks, man. Hey, who knows? Maybe I'll bump into her in 18 years. What? Did you really think I was gonna change that much? Get out, everybody! I'll join your darts game. How do we know you're any good? Gentlemen? Of being on a frozen mountaintop! Hey, Lois, I'd like you to meet our new friend... Jerome? Loose Lois? What? You guys know each other? Know each other? <laughs> Dear God and Black Jesus. Peter, take that thing off. Hey, what the hell's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. I have had about enough of you, Jerome. I know you want my wife, but you can't have her. You are no longer welcome in my house. What you talking about, Peter? <laughs> but you can't have sex with Lois. Now I want you out of here right now. I can't believe this. I thought I found a true friend in you. Peter, sometimes you just make me sick to my stomach. Look, I know you think Jerome was a good guy, but... No, he was a good guy, Peter, and I'm gonna prove it to you. And you're gonna feel like a real jackass. What's that? We now return to Rational Geographic. Upon realizing a trip to Africa would be smelly and gross, our crew decided to stay in the office. Oh, crap, it's Carter. I bet he's mad I told the news about him. I'll just do what Superman does. Oh, hey, Carter. Hello, citizen. Have you seen Peter? Oh, he was just here. Oh, don't worry, honey. We'll get you a new pair tomorrow. Yes, and in the meantime, here's a little vision test. What is this, a poopy or a Toblerone? Dad, I can't go through the vent. Yeah, she's right. We need to grease her up so she doesn't get stuck. Everybody spit on Meg. Stop, stop, you got... Ah! I can't do it because there are burglars down there. Come on, they're not gonna touch you. You're covered with spit. Be careful, Meg. Ah! Ah! I hate you all! I'm all set up for you to go out with our niece. Honey, come on out here and meet Peter Griffin. Peter, this is our niece, Jennifer Love Hewitt. Nice to meet you. All right, I'm getting up. Hi, Peter Griffin. So where do you want to go? We can go anywhere except the disco. They don't let me in there anymore. <laughs> Crafty Mexicans and your glass candy. Oh, sweetheart, I'm sure all the boys want to ask you to the dance. They're probably just shy or scared. Yeah, I was terrified of asking Phoebe Diamond to the prom. I finally got up the guts, but I, I had this damn nervous twitch. Um, F Phoebe? Yeah? Uh, I, I was wondering if, if, if you'd uh, d 
Do me the honor of, uh... Ah! Oh, jeez, you scared me. What happened to your clothes? Hey, what are you doing? Oh, hello, Brian. Oh, there's your friend Brian. Hey, Brian. I sure did enjoy talking to you the other day. I'm just making sure Stewie is nice and clean for his trip to the playground this afternoon. We had a little bit of a problem earlier because bitch Stewie was stooling in the tub, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> That's awful funny, Stewie. I don't know who George Bernard Shaw is, but you look like an old Stewie, Stewie. Enjoy your weird bath. I told him I did the poos, even though you did the poos, Stewie. Did I do good, Stewie? Peter, you've been fiddling with that ham radio for seven weeks. Take a shower. I can barely get any reception on this stupid thing. So far, the only station that comes in is some British guys reading news from places I'm not sure exist. And now with sports, here's Frampel Tromwibbler. From the world of sport, the Coynton Spinky Wompers flumped the flowing boing Welfenklompers, 70 fluff to 40 flabe. At the tone, the time will be 26 Railroad. I'm not sure about any of that. Hello? Who's this? This is Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan? The guy that used to bang that 70-pound witch? Ronald Reagan, former president of the United States. Oh, my God! Hey, Quagmire, guess who I'm talking to right now? Sure thing, Stewie. You want me to move it to another day? No, no, just cancel it. Okay, we will do. Who the hell was that? Hmm? There was another Stewie right there. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I've been so damn busy lately. My schedule's been so packed. I felt like I needed some kind of an errand boy to do all my... Would you like to meet him? Would you like to meet Bitch Stewie? Uh, yeah, I guess. Bitch Stewie, come here and meet my friend Brian. Hey there, Stewie. Oh, what's that? You got a friend? Oh, I'm always happy to meet one of your friends. Dear God. How do you do? Pleased to meet you. I'm Bitch Stewie. It's not much, but it's healthier than what people ate in the 50s. Steak and donut sandwich, please. You want cigarettes on that sandwich? What, do I look like a Mary? Yes, I want cigarettes. Okay, next up on the stage, let's have a big karaoke welcome for Peter and Ron. Oh, honey, if I get rest race. Baby, you're not that... <laughs> In my head, you take the weight off. How's a garage sale going, Quagmire? Pretty good, just clearing some of my stuff out of the basement. It's amazing what you find when you clean your basement. Peter, you almost done down there? <laughs> Look what I found. <gasps> and it even has the one with the Flintstones. Amazingly, this drunk driver turns left into oncoming traffic. He narrowly misses hitting a pedestrian, but their lives as well. The driver totals the car and makes a run for it, but the pursuing officers are prepared. Running from the cops, yabba dabba don't. Hey look, this guy's picking his nose. <laughs> look, now he's eating it. Chris, knock it off. You're gonna get me in trouble. Meg, they're dead. Would you stop being so uptight? You're like one of those Asian Americans who fought in Vietnam. Ah! Oh, it's just me. You're just jealous. Well, let's go to her place and I'll show you. Oh, sorry. Today was y'all's cleaning day. Y'all want me to come back later? Maybe, maybe, yeah. Maybe, maybe another day. That's fine. I'll pull out. Just go easy. It really hurt on the way in. Ow, 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 ow. It's true. I never mentioned this because I don't want him to feel bad, but after he was born, they had to rearrange most of my organs. Oh, yeah, he dragged half a Lois right out with him. Yeah, the doctor said I'll be lucky if I live past 50, but Chris is healthy, and I thank God for that. What do you mean? Brian, meet bitch Brian. Hi, Brian. You got some stuff you want me to do for you? Oh, my God. Yeah, that's kind of what I said, too. Uh, you know, I I'll be honest with you, Brian. Here's what happened. I didn't really want to do the work, so bitch Stewie sort of did it. <laughs> You
you have a baby? Yeah, it's a long story. Damn kids kept me up every night for two weeks. Now where were we? Giggity, giggity. That's it. That kid is out of here. Hey, there's another note. Glenn, this is your child. Next time wear a condom jerk. Oh, that's the note from earlier. I need a file cabinet. Have you considered abortion? Uh, Peter, I think it's too late for that. Oh, don't let the press put the scare into you. Wade V. Boggs has not been overturned. Yeah, but you can't really abort a live baby. Oh, boy, they have got you. Glenn, Glenn, give her back to God. All right, Quagmire, just so you're clear on the law, once you give this child up to the adoption agency, you can no longer abort it. Hello, sir. Do you wish to put this child up for adoption? Yeah, it's not working out. I need to get her out of my hair. Well, we can help you there. Now, is it a boy or a girl? She, uh, she'll go to a good home, right? Oh, yes. She'll be somewhere safe, right? Like, you're not going to put her with sand people, right? You mean like from Star Wars? <laughs> no, 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 no. He sure is, and you know what else? The ghost of Reagan is going to be the new fourth guy in our group. I'm all for that. What other stories you got, Reagan? Well, I remember the time I invited Ed Sullivan to the White House. He sounded a little something like this. Hey, Ron, tonight we got a really big show. Ah, well, uh, you know, Ed, the kids say you gotta go viral to promote yourself these days. So this is not Reagan? No, it's Rich Little. He's an impressionist. He's been screwing with your head. Well, this thing is worthless. Like my Palestinian alarm clock. Look, Peter, why don't you just go home before you get hurt? Well, I'm clearly not the only one who was dissatisfied with his purchase. Whoever bought that baby from you obviously didn't want it. A baby? I didn't sell a baby. Look, there's a note. Well, the DNA test results are back. This little girl is definitely your baby, Quagmire. Well, what am I supposed to do? I, I don't want a baby. Look, somebody's got to take this kid off my hands. I, I can't be a father. Well, Glenn, you don't have a choice. This baby is your responsibility. There's some frozen steaks in the freezer. Bathroom's down the hall to the right. Uh, if you ever come home and there's a tie on the door, it means I'm frogging someone, so give me at least a... Couple hours. You smoke? Oh no, it's not on his tail, it's on his face. I've ruined it. Oh no, well that's okay though. Somebody else will come along and get it right. Thanks for coming to my birthday party, Stewie. Oh, I wouldn't have missed it for anything. I've never been to a party before. What do you want? Take your index finger and your thumb and lightly grip the base of your tail. What? Lightly grip the base of your tail with your index finger and your thumb, and then slide your fingers up the length of your tail to the tip. Nobody use that word. This is not a stroking motion. This is a completely non-sexual thing I am asking you to do in a completely non-sexual way. Squeeze the base of the tail lightly with your thumb and index finger, and then, while continuing to squeeze, your lips look a little dry. Why don't you wet them a little bit? <laughs> oh my god! You're so weird! Alright, I'll make you a clone, buddy.